guys, we are going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm taking my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and I'm just taking that on my Sephora Pro um, brush and just blending that all into my eyelids, making sure that all my darkness is nice and concealed. And then going in with my Maybelline Better Skin Powder, I'm going to go ahead and take that, and I'm just going to go ahead and use that to set all over my eyelids. And now I'm going to take my Juvia's Place palette, and I'm taking that really nice first um like light brown shade as my transition and I'm using my dose of colors blending brush just to blend this directly into my crease making sure I take those windshield wiper motions and um, go ahead and do the same thing right to the other eye same motions windshield wiper and then little tiny circles and next we are gonna go ahead in with that next shade which is a really pretty burnt orange shade oh my gosh I love a shade so this is so much and I'm going in really light-handedly taking that directly into my outer kind of corner and then slowly bringing it into my crease I want to make sure that the most of the color is centered on the outer part of the lid and then slowly going ahead and blending it and I'm taking a different blending brush it's just a little bit fluffier just to blend out all the edges over there and then same thing repeating it right to the other eye um, excuse me I like stuttered um right to that other eye and taking it right on the outer corner and blending that directly into my crease excuse me I'm like half singing too by the way so if you're like what is this girl saying I'm singing to myself I had music playing same thing taking that same brush just to blend out all the edges to make sure everything is nice and seamlessly blended and going in with this color is honestly unnecessary um but it added a really nice pop um of like a nice orange into the crease and it pa paired well excuse me with the other burnt orange color and I'm just taking that with that same brush by dose of colors and pretty much doing the same exact thing with I did with that I did with that other shadow I cannot talk and now I'm taking my MAC 217 brush just to make sure that everything is nice and blended but I didn't want to use a fluffy brush because I wanted to make sure that this was all going to stay in one specific place so I'm going to be taking my time and making sure it's all blended and I'm blending it down into my eyelid and not up all right so now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape concealer and I'm just going ahead and cutting my crease it takes some time for me to do this because I'm not like extremely experienced with it. So I'm just taking a really small brush from Sigma and I'm just using that to kind of carve out the shape that I want. Like I said, it does take me some time to do this, but I'm just getting the hang of it. So take your time cutting your crease. And this clip is so messed up, but I'm using that really pretty nice champagne color um, to set my um, concealer just to make sure that I have a nice base on for my lid because I am going to go ahead and use glitter later. But I'm just going to go ahead and pack this on. I wasn't too impressed with the color payoff. It was kind of sheer, but now I'm going in on the other eye doing the same thing with cutting that crease and making sure that I take my time. Um, I did end up setting it with that same uh, um, other color excuse me I'm like stuttering today I don't know why but packing that color one to make sure that the whole part of the concealer is set because I don't want it transferring and now I'm taking my violet boss um, glitter and my Too Faced glitter glue and I'm just going ahead and taking this I think the glitter is called champagne kisses oh my god I love this glitter so much it was so beautiful and so like uh, I love that it, I, you guys can't see it on camera but I love that it has really pretty reflex in it um, of like other colors like a little bit of purple a little bit of green a little bit of everything but on camera it shows up as like this really nice like champagne bronze but popping right into skin I'm taking my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer and just going ahead placing that everywhere where I do have some pores or anywhere that I do want it to be slightly smoother and now I'm taking my Anastasia stick foundation. This was my first time using it. And oh my god, guys, I am in love, love, love. I think I might want to do a foundation review on it. I'm not sure. But I'm just taking a really dense blending brush. This one is um, from Tarte. And I'm just going ahead and blending that all in. This did have a really nice, like, um, like I want to say it was a sheer uh, coverage. So I did end up taking a little bit more in the spots that I needed. But going into my concealer, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Fair Neutral, I want to say. I do have a couple. I I want to use my Fair um, Beige one, but I'm going to have to go through this one first. And just highlighting all the places that I want to bring forward. So under my eyes, bridge of nose, forehead, cupid's bow, chin. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all right in with my Beauty Blender. Making sure that I take my time to have all my edges blended because this is a super freaking light concealer so you do want to make sure you take your time and you don't want any harsh edges or anything like that once it's blended out it looks so 
very nice I promise you guys that all right and taking my Kat Von D translucent powder I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eyes I'm not gonna do any baking I'm just gonna go ahead and press this all directly into my skin it really helps to keep everything in place but I'm gonna go ahead and take my benefit hula quickie contour stick and just put a couple of stripes on my forehead kind of underneath my cheekbone where I want to contour and then I'm gonna go ahead with that same tart brush just to blend it all out really quickly I love this contour color though my lighting changed it's so weird now it's like really warm but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that all out and to set that I'm gonna take my NARS Laguna bronzer I'm taking this on a Luxie small contour brush just making sure that I set everywhere that I did place that um what's it called bronzer and for blush I'm taking this one from my MAC Nutcracker holiday edition one I'm just really lightly tapping that onto the apples of my cheeks. I'm not a huge blush person, but I thought this was cute, cute, of course. And for highlight, I'm going to be taking that highlight shade from that same blush palette. And guys, every single time I wear this highlight, I forget how freaking pretty it is. Like, it is such an intense highlight. I wish they would, ooh, look at it. Like, oh my god, it's so pretty. Alright, and just to prep for falsies, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and just going ahead and applying that all over the place, like I said, just to prep for our falsies and doing the same thing to my lower lash line. And I already did place some shadow on there too as well. But for lashes today, I'm taking my Coco Lashes in the shade um, Goddess and just placing those with tweezers today. Not my fingers, but tweezers for once because I felt like the band was really stiff to work with, but I still love this lash style and same thing just popping it right on making sure that my edges are secured so I'm always going to go ahead with my um, edge on the outer part of my eye and inner and for lips I'm taking a lime crime lipstick in pom pom and my dosa colors lip gloss in undress and first placing that lipstick really 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 lightly because I wanted a nice um, light wash of it not anything too crazy but going right over top of that with that lip gloss in undress and it really transforms the color of the lipstick which I do love so much. And here's the finished look, guys. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from me. But until then, I will see you guys. Bye.